I'm Rob Ford, Wintex Communication Director, and I'm joined by Natalie Gilbert of Gilbert Farms. Natalie, thanks for taking time to share your community story with us. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. So Natalie, tell us about yourself and what you do. Well, my name is Natalie Gilbert, and I'm a farmer in rural Lafayette. My husband and I own and operate a farm where we grow corn and soybeans. We currently plant about 4,000 acres. How has the farm been operating the last couple of years? We've seen a lot of news stories that talk about where times are tough for farmers. Sometimes it can be. The markets have been very volatile lately, and especially with the pandemic that has happened, there's been a lot of added stress with the markets there. Of course, we always have the weather as a stressor as well. What would you say are the most challenging things about operating a family farm? Knowing when to market the grain and knowing when to plant the crop, when the right time is as far as the weather goes. What are some of the major changes that you've seen over the last 15 and 20 years in farming? I've seen a lot of changes. I would say that most of those changes center around the technology that has come into farming. So we now have GPS in our tractors and we have the ability to map our yields and keep track of where we're getting the best yields and in what type of soil. And we also have the ability to make prescriptions for our fields with fertilizers and different types of seed varieties. So Natalie, what do you love about the community you live in? I love that my community is a rural community and it's a very quiet, peaceful place. I like working outside and I like the space that I have to do my gardening, but I also like the harvest on the farm. That's one of my most favorite times of the year. And I feel that that's the reward for all the work that you do throughout the year to raise the crop. I really enjoy that time of year. Natalie, thank you so much for sharing your community story with us. Thanks, Rob, for having me.